The next case is a 56-year-old man with chronic ulcerative pancreatitis since uh, 2009. Uh, he complicates uh, of uh, distal CBD stricter since 10 years with multiple uh, biliary stenting periods. Uh, the last one in October with a fully covered uh, metallic stent. He also has a duodenal stricture with, uh, due to chronic paraduodenal pancreatitis uh, with no improvement after six months of love acting somatostatin analogs. He has daily abdominal uh, postprandial pain uh, with dyspepsia, vomiting, and the last CT scan in January showed a paraduodenal thickening with uh, gastric uh, distension, but also cavernoma. He has no weight loss. And uh, that was confirmed uh, by the ERCP in uh, March, uh, where uh, balloon dilation was used uh, to pass uh, the duodenal substenosis, but with uh, persistent symptoms. So in this context, the patient is scheduled today for an EUS-guided uh, gastrojejunostomy, and will join now uh, Dr. Giovanni Niendevier, who will perform this procedure. Okay, we, we start. This is um, a, a, a very nice, uh, a, a very nice indication because uh, this patient has a portal hypertension, and uh, to perform a surgical uh, gastrojejunostomy is uh, sometimes it's uh, uh, it's a bit difficult. We have a prepared the patient, and uh, if you see on the on the X-ray, we we have uh, uh, put at the level of the uh, uh, duodenal angle, the trace angle, which is the the, the best place to to perform the US guided. Uh, uh, gastrojejunostomy because this angle is quite fixed and close to the uh, to the, uh, the the gastric wall. And we have placed uh, a nasobiliary drain. And the goal of this nasobiliary drain is to uh, to fill in continue, as you see on the US image, to fill the uh, the jejunal loop and uh, to uh, you can inject also some uh, some blue some blue dye. And uh, the, the goal is to create a kind of, uh, of, uh, of collection. And, and uh, we have prepared uh, uh, the, Axios, uh, uh, the Axios tent. We, we, we need to use, uh, to use a, a 20, uh, 20 millimeter uh, uh, Axios tent and to, to, to have a, a, good, uh, a good efficacy uh, of the uh, anastomosis. Okay, now I will... Uh, so one thing this is which is important, you see that the, con the, the Axios has been connected, but Mark doesn't use any guide wire. No. So we will do the puncture immediately with the diathermic tip okay. of the Axios. And the guide wire, we avoid the guide wire because the, the guide wire would push yes. the, the loop back. Okay. So this is mainly based on the we use of a stand. And again, this will be the application of current. Stop. Okay, we are in okay, now. Now I push the, and uh, I will uh, remove the yellow, and I will open the first, the first, uh, which is a little bit more difficult with the. Okay, now it's open. I hope, and I pull back. Uh, here you see the. It, yeah, now, it, it now always open. takes because a little, it's a bit, little bit different uh, because you need two or three seconds to open. And, and of course, you, you have a double control. Mark uh, dem demonstrated perfectly yeah. the, the US image, but you see that we have the fluoroscopic image. Okay. Now oh. I pull back the loop as much as possible, like this. Now I have a resistance I block. Now I'm sure that the and I finish to open the second part inside my working channel. Yes, you see that Mark like doesn't this. try to have a look on the... And now I will, uh, I will change the, the, my, my position like this. I turn a little bit and I move for the endoscopy image. And I will... Okay. Push the... You see the maneuver is very elegant. Mark is pushing the stand. Okay, now the anastomosis while, is done. Huh? While uh, pulling the scope, and you see that okay. without any need of guide wire, the anastomosis has been done. Now we can inject a little bit of blue inside. Yes. To confirm that we will have a drainage. Of course, the, the, there is no dilation. No, this is just still a very small orifice. 
On my point of view, I don't. You see yes, very nicely the, the, the blue. The blue. Uh, I don't see any need for dilation at no, this stage. No, 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 no. The stent will be dilated in a, in a, in a two days, and uh, and we will not have a risk of migration. So, the, this is a very quick and elegant manner to do. To do an I think in this case could, could be a good, a very good indication due to the portal hypertension. Yeah.